All right, eight ball, should I show them the stuff from the bins first? Most likely. Am I bothering you, boo? I'm sorry. Most likely. So we're going to start with the bin stuff first. This is a bins versus stores. I spent two hours at each location. I am showing you what I got. And at the end of the video, I will do the breakdown of how much I think I should be able to sell this stuff for and which one technically wins. Spoiler, this is my closest bins versus stores ever as far as the potential net profit. So I'm pretty excited and uh, let's just jump right into it. With the first item, I gave this girl a bath a couple times. We didn't make any progress, but we sure spent some time together. This is a Gucci Disney collab and I, I just can't. Uh, this is one of the tags that I have found, just the regular Gucci tag. Some of them have Gucci and Disney. Um, I do look at tags of other solds that have sold for quite a bit to compare as far as material and brand tags. Um, and this lines up, this looks pretty authentic, which is great, but it's flawed. And I'll show that in a second. Uh, here is the material tag. All right, there is a material tag. It's size medium. Sorry for my lighting. I am filming at night because we've had some snowy weather. And so this, I did find that Gucci did do this exact logo, but I couldn't find any solds, not logo, but this print, but I couldn't find any solds with this print. So this is, in my opinion, a great item to upcycle, to maybe play with, maybe do some cutoff parts or something to that effect because there is some flaws, there is some spots on a couple places like the back of the shoulder. Also, probably a little bit harder with the light. If you can see, there's a lot of like this blue um, staining. I'm not sure if it's bleeding from the shirt. It wasn't from me soaking, it was there um, at the bins like that. To be honest, this was actually damp when I picked it up. So I think it probably sat and maybe ruined um, in a bin somewhere, which, you know, that just happens. But I did try to my best. I used two different formulas to try and stain treat. It didn't work. I'm gonna sell as is. I'm gonna put it up on auction. Uh, by the time this video goes up, it will probably still be on auction. And I'm gonna start it at 49 and we'll see. Some of these in great condition sell for four to $500. Some sell, you know, a hundred to $200. So I'm not sure what this is gonna go for, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And I do think it would be a great project for someone to make it their own. All right, at each, the bins and the stores, I found two brands that have been on my bucket list. Um, and this is one of them. So this is, again, the bins that I'm starting with. This is Arcteryx. I have never found Arcteryx. And as someone who likes to wear a lot of outdoor wear, I have been bummed <laughs> because it's just a great brand. And even though this is just a plaid button front short sleeve shirt for men's, these still sell uh, for in that 30 to 35 range. And we're going into the right season for this. So here's the little logo for Arcteryx on the back. I was so thrilled to see this. And I think, like I said, about 30 to 35. Also, I spent at the bins, I spent $27.9 nine cents and I got 15 items, um, which breaks down to $1 and 81 cents. And I'll again, give you the breakdown of expected net at the end. But yeah, this is a low cost of goods for me at the bins because I got a lot of lighter weight items. So, all right, this is a pair of flax pants. I'm always amazed when I can get something cream colored or white and it's not heavily damaged at the bins. Uh, but this was just sitting there and there is one little minor, um, little minor spot at the back of a seam area. It's not that bad. And uh, I still think I should be able to get maybe 30, 35 for these. So before I go any further with this haul, I can't wait any longer to share the sponsor of today's video because I am obsessed with the service. I have been paying for it for six or seven months now. And when I got an email saying they wanted to sponsor one of my videos, I about fell out of my chair. You can ask my friends and family. They knew I was so excited to get this message. And honestly, I could talk about it for 12 hours, but I will spare you. I jotted down some notes so I could stay on track. So Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And that's really important for me to, to do at home. I have to cook at home because I don't have a lot of convenience food near me. And I have some dietary restrictions. I'm trying to find out some health issues, um, if any of my diet is contributing to those. And so I have been playing with my diet for about a year. And this meal kit is so great because it can customize it. It basically can work with what I am needing. It makes cooking so easy for me. You get the cards, 
you get the little packs of food and the meat separately and you just put it all together. It usually takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to make each meal and I always have leftovers for the next day, which is fantastic. It is the first CCOF certified organic meal kit. Eating healthy is great, but eating healthy with good ingredients is even better in my opinion. And we don't have a farmer's market here year round because of our winters. So I'm very appreciative of that. The best thing about it for me is just the options for each lifestyle. So for, for right now and for the last two months, I have been paleo. I've been working with my doctor to figure out what's contributing. And paleo right now is what I am working on to remove certain things. And they have paleo, they have keto, they have vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean options. So even if you're not necessarily trying to cut anything out, but you're trying to eat a little bit healthier, that fast and fit option is a really great thing. And there's a lot of delicious meals on all of them. Another couple things that I really like, the menu is always changing. So there's always variety. So even though I really like some meals and I probably could eat them every week, I love the fact that each week I'm trying new things, new flavors, new profiles. They have chefs that are creating dishes that are just keeping me interested in it, which is really, really good because I get bored easily. The biggest thing uh, for me right now, being so overwhelmed managing multiple businesses is that it saves me time by making sure I don't have to think about my meals. I don't have to grocery shop as often. And it just cuts down on a lot of meal prep too, because a lot of it just comes kind of conveniently done, which is awesome. So I think everyone should try it. If you're trying to eat a little healthier or if you have some restrictions, I definitely, and you haven't tried it, I definitely think you should. Uh, you can go to greenchef.com and use the code commontags130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box to greenchef.com and use the code commontags130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. And I just can't say enough good things about it. I've made my friends and family try it because they just know that it's really been the best meal kit for me and I'm gonna continue using them. So Green Chef, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I will continue to enjoy and I'm excited to cook some dinner after I get done filming this. All right, back to the bins. We are on some jeggings. Uh, jeggings that are size 32. And I looked up the style and they are the J brand Delilah J -Gean. And this style seems to do pretty, pretty well. So I got this for style and size. The fact that I could uh, find that some of these are selling between 30 and $40 and it's a, it's a larger size. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of stretch and they just look so comfortable. So a great layering piece. There is some light pilling on the waistband, but I don't think that's a big deal. I just noted it and uh, at the bins. I was excited about this. Here's a vintage Nike pullover jacket. It's a little big. It's a little big, uh, but it has Nike on the back. It's got some stripes on the side. It's fairly lightweight and it looks like uh, quite a few of these that uh, were listed very similar. There were like two or three um, that people were saying they were 1990s. So not too old, but just old enough. Definitely that oversized style. There is a hood, but it can be uh, rolled up and Velcroed into the neckline. So that could be hidden, which is great. But there's also some venting, which is a great keyword, um, just airflow. So trying to get the noise out of there. The comps were a little mixed, but I'm thinking I should be able to get somewhere between 30 to $40 for that. All right, new with tags, size large, we the free, free people top. The retail on this was $128. This is an oversized button front shirt. And in my opinion, this is a great top to tuck into some cut off shorts, wear it oversized to the beach, throw it over that bathing suit or that bikini. And uh, yeah, no complaints on new with tags. So some of the comps for this exact style were somewhere in that 30 to 40 range and that was pre-owned. The fact that this is a size large and new with tags, I'm thinking I should be able to get closer to that 40 mark. So. All right, this is a bathing suit. I never look at the bathing suits in thrift stores, so <laughs> the bins is great for that. This is, it kind of has this lace up on the sides and the front, and then it just kind of has this lower back. This is a brand that I've sold quite a few times, and it usually sells for decent money um, and gets quite a bit of likes. It's called House of CB. All right, I don't know if you can see the tag, but it's a size small and it looks great on some of the stock photos. So with this, the comps look like I should be able to get somewhere in that 35 mark, which is great. 
All right, so this day at the bins, I was finishing up one audiobook and putting on a new audiobook. And uh, I think it was Dave Grohl's audiobook that I had just finished. And so I was walking slowly, but on my phone, trying to put on a new audiobook. And someone out of the blue just came over and said, Do you want this? Uh, if you are a viewer, I kind of suspect you are. I've never had that happen to me at the bins. <laughs> Um, but you didn't say you were. So uh, she, I don't know why she didn't want this. I think she said that there was no label up here, but there is a material tag and a, um, I can. Th I knew I could throw it on the mannequin. So this is and other stories and it's just a nice wool blend sweater with kind of a mock neck and a little bit more of the somewhat dolman sleeves. So she kind of popped out of nowhere. I didn't know how to react. I was just like, is there something wrong with this? Why is someone giving this to me? Um, I think she was maybe checking out, but if you were watching and you gave this to me, thank you. Uh, I think it's a great color. I love picking up yellow stuff. And even though there is no size, I was able to throw it on the mannequin and it looked great. So uh, yeah, it was just one of those odd bins moments. I know some people just see me running, walking around and I am usually either responding to Instagram and YouTube comments when I'm waiting for new bins or I am uh, trying to do something with like an audiobook or something like that. So it seems like I'm always trying to multitask when I'm there. But uh, if you see me, feel free to say hi. All right, this is a beautiful kind of satin-like dress and I really liked the print. I love the color. This is Zara and I really don't pick up a lot of Zara, but it is an XL. Now to be fair, this size XL it runs small. So I would say this actually would work better for a medium large. I threw this on the size six mannequin and it's just a little too big for that. So I think maybe an 810 would probably work best for this um, depending on how you like the fit. But I thought this was beautiful. And so the comps look like I should be able to get similar ones in similar sizes, somewhere in that 25 maybe up to 30 range. I think 25 was the, was the number. This is an All Saints sweater. All Saints does not sell particularly well for me, but the nice thing is, is they usually have the style written on the material tag, which makes it really easy to list. So this is a, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's kind of a draped sweater and each side has a cutout. So it's almost I would say it's almost like a cross between a sweater and a shawl, if that makes sense. Uh, so you could kind of throw it over something and it's just kind of got this layered look to it, but it's a size 10, which I liked. Now, uh, I, again, this is a brand that tends to run a little small, so I think this is probably better for that six or size eight, but at the bins, it's lightweight, great neutral, and yeah. Um, I think the comps for that one was like maybe 25, maybe 30, so not a high dollar, but all right, this one I took a chance on. I knew it was risky because it's a solid color, but it's Torrid size five. And size five, I think is one of the larger sizes for Torrid and I rarely find it. I know I love the color, but I did not get it for the color. I just thought it was a great basic. It does have a, unfortunately, a small spot that I couldn't get out on the back. Um, if you can see right here, not that big of a deal, but I did have to note it. I'm still hoping for maybe about 20 for this. All right, this is another one I took a chance on. I was trying to get product and this is a very competitive location. So, um, <laughs> And I had only had two hours, so I was like, let's get it done. This is Aritzia Wilfred, size medium. It's an adorable jumpsuit, which is gonna be a little hard to show here, but it's got a little bit of an elastic waist and a cropped wide leg. And it just looks so comfortable and casual. Unfortunately, there is some, even though it looked a pretty good, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it because it's so minor, but I did capture a photo of some minor staining on the front. I couldn't get it out. I still think I should be able to get 25 for that because some of those jumpsuits in good condition are selling for 50 plus. So All right. I got this because of size and it's lightweight. Chaser, size large, just a graphic tee. This girl loves sleep. So it does have some raw hem at the sleeves and the hemline and everything, but it's just comfy, cozy, some light pilling. I should be able to get maybe about 20 for that. Okay, Spiritual Gangster, I don't get too much for it, but it usually sells relatively quick, quickly for me. And this, I feel like is definitely not gonna show the tag, but you can see the, lit, the spell out right here. This is a size medium. I kind of liked that it was a subtle uh, logo on the front and it's kind of a nice spring item. It's a lightweight, you know, top lightweight sweater. So anyways, I'll probably get about 25 for this. All right, I think this is the last item from the bins and then we'll move on to the stores. This is just made well. This, unfortunately, I did have to wash and it kind of got some lint and I gave it a good lint roll. I'm gonna have to lint roll it again. 
Uh, I don't think I should have picked it up, but this, I looked up the style and it just kind of has this very subtle puff sleeve. I don't know if you can see, but just a very, very subtle puff sleeve. And that still is kind of trendy right now. So I might only be able to get about 15 because it does have some light pilling, but it's still a great basic. And so we'll see. We will see. I definitely won't lose money on it. All right, moving on to the stores. Uh, one of the items has sold, so I will share that one. This was my other bucket list item, a brand that I have never found that is very expensive, a designer that I think, I could be wrong, but I think, I think Tom Brown only sells men's. I'll put on the screen if I'm right or wrong. But these are swim trunks. And his swim trunks on the resale market usually go from somewhere between 75 to 200. And so, yeah, I'll take that. These are a size large, men's, they have the lining, and I like the color scheme, and we're going into the right season. So very excited about this, um, yeah. All right, this one already sold. I actually bought this to try on for myself. I am trying to buy some stuff for my real estate channel and look somewhat professional there. Uh, this is an absolutely adorable top. Unfortunately, it was a little snug on the top or on the chest area, which is not a surprise. It is joie. All right, it's joie, but the tag is white and a little hard to see. Uh, it's size large and it's silk and it's just really feminine and dainty. This sold for $32 and it's going to be shipped out tomorrow. I think tomorrow. All right, this is just a basic soft surroundings gray tee, but it is a size 3X and it has a subtle ruffle accent on the bottom. So because of the size, uh, a lot of this store stuff, oh, that's my breakdown. So at the stores, I found quite a few items that were 50% off and 25% off. So my breakdown was $90.84 for 17 items. And that breaks down to $5.34 per item versus the bins, which was $1.81 per item. So this is was half off, which is why I grabbed it. So for a few dollars, I thought because of the size, it's a nice spring basic, um, I thought I'd pick it up. I think the comps on that is somewhere between 20 and 25. I got two Eileen Fisher cardigans, again, with the tag. Hopefully you can kind of see it right there. Uh, this is kind of a chartreuse color, which I really like this color. Not necessarily for me to wear, but I like when uh, other people wear it, if it kind of goes with their skin tone and whatnot. This is a size extra small. And then there's a black one that I think was a size medium. So same style, same knit but different sizes. So anyways, uh, each of these, I'm expecting somewhere around that $25 to $30 mark. All right, here is a free people sweater. This was 50% off as well. And I just kind of liked the color scheme, kind of the blue, the cream. It's not super oversized and I prefer to pick up free people sweaters that are oversized, but just a classic free people. So I should be able to get somewhere between 25 and 30 for that. All right, I have quite a few shorts here. That's how I found those men's shorts. I'll get to those in a second. But here's a Madewell vest. I found the style of this, and some of these are selling between $30 to $40, so I'm expecting probably right around $35. I do need to uh, do a little bit of soaking for this right here. I didn't notice that there was a little bit of discoloration on the back of the neck, but I think I can get that out. So yeah, size medium, not a bad pickup. All right, the rest are shorts and pants. But short season is right on the corner, and I love photographing shorts. They're so easy. This was a new brand to me. This is Stillwater, the brand. And I think it's a California-based brand. I could be wrong. But these are just paper bag style shorts and an olive green. These are a size small, so fairly tiny, but a cute style. This is Philip Lim. 3.1 Philip Lim silk shorts. If you can see, <laughs> size eight, there's some elastic on the back of the waist. And I just think these are so adorable to maybe pair with some heels, a cute top for a summer night out. I love picking up this brand, it's Fajerte. These are men's shorts, these are a size, they were, they were a good size, they were size 38, I think. Yeah, size 38, a linen blend, a great summer short. I think they're called the Malibu. So uh, with these, I'm expecting, unfortunately the men's shorts, at least this style, some of the comps were only around that 25, 30 mark. Maybe it'll go up a little bit as, you know, it warms up a bit, but Fajerte sometimes can do really well. So I guess it's just hit or miss. These are free people, size 27. I love the boho aspect of these. Kind of a good summer festival, casual short, 
with a little bit of flair. So with these, I'm expecting probably right around 25. This was a pair of men's shorts. I think these are sold at Urban Outfitters and Katin, but I love picking up pink in men's. It tends to do fairly well for me, and I really liked the stripes on this. These were half off. Quite a few of these were, so, and the shorts aren't as expensive. So uh, with these, I'm expecting somewhere in that 20 to 25 range. Okay, pair of Madewell purple shorts, <laughs> denim shorts, but they're size 32, cut off, comfortable, casual. Uh, they do have a little bit of writing here, like someone wrote their name or something, but that's not a big deal. I should be able to get maybe about 25 for those. Fourth of July is coming. <laughs> Summer is coming, and I know someone's going to rock these. This is actually a great brand that I do like to pick up and sell, which is Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. This is the vintage cutoff style, and I can't remember the size. Size 26, so fairly tiny, but how cute are those? absolutely adorable. I think the comps for that is like 20, 25 to 30. All right. These are a pair of We The Free light wash, getting very washed out in the light, uh, raw hem, kind of a straight leg crop, a really great spring summer pair of jeans. So these are a size 27 and I think the comps were right around that 30 mark. All right. These frame denim high rise jeans are adorable. I found a stock image and she really rocked him with some boots and just a really cool vibe. So these are, this is a size 30, which is fantastic, but high rise, wide leg, crop, definitely trendy. And I think the comps for similar styles were between about 30 to 40. All right, last item, and then we'll run the numbers. This is a pair of Madewell, the perfect vintage jean, and this is a size 25. Distressed, a really nice medium wash, raw hem. Uh, really great spring summer <laughs> pair of jeans. Can you tell I'm in the spring summer mindset of buying? Uh, these sell for me usually anywhere from about 35 to 40 typically. So we'll, we'll see. All right. So I took all of the prices that I listed at, I divided that. I took off 30% off of both groups and I also re removed the cost of goods. Um, and I came out with the bins slightly won, slightly, with only 15 items and a less cost, uh, lesser cost of goods. Cost of goods was less. Oh, geez. The bins came out to pro net profit of approximately $503 versus $491 at the regular store. So close. Both, I think, were worth it, in my opinion. I found some great stuff, and I'm excited that some of this is already selling. So if you uh, want to try Green Chef, you can check the link below. If you like this video on the bins versus stores, be sure to hit the thumbs up and I'll definitely do another one. And I need to go make some dinner now and I'm so excited. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye.